Hey guys, it's Nettie from Philly's Funny Family. I'm here today because I wanted to talk about a story I came across about this lady who shares her story of a year long of domestic abuse. So that means that she was in a relationship. I don't know how long because I haven't really read up on the story, but I came across it and I wanted to go over it with you guys. See how you guys feel. Um, feel free to comment down below, but we're going to listen to this and then I'll come back with what I have to say after the story. I'm trying to figure out what I did, but let's see. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let my son. Mm. So she must have been fed up to the point that she figured she would tape it live. Oh, poor baby. Look at her eye. Y'all have and sick and tired of people in their opinion about what the fuck I went through. Y'all don't know what the fuck I went through. Y'all was not in my shoes. Y'all don't know how the fuck I was feeling. And y'all damn sure don't know what it took for me to get up out that shit. I'm sick and tired of people in their comments, especially his family. Y'all threatening me because y'all fucking family member is a woman beater. That's why. Let me calm down. I'm, I'm real upset. It took a long time for my eye to heal. That man was beating the fuck out of me. Mm. And she could have went blind. I was sitting here taking that shit for the whole past year. Mm. This whole year I was sitting there and I was letting him whoop my ass. I'm trying my hardest to say what I gotta say without crying because this shit is pissing me off. From the very beginning when I first met him, he was one of the nicest people that I ever met. He was being so sweet to me. He fooled the fuck out of me. I didn't think that it was gonna end up to the point where the first time he broke my arm, it was on Valentine's Day. This man broke wow. my fucking arm. My family saw it and everything. They told me not to go back to him, but I was being stupid, yeah, and I went back. Like a dumbass, because I was in love. So yeah, that's my fault for being in love. And love can make you do some dumb things. I ain't gonna front. So that's pretty much all I got from the clip, but I'm glad that this woman decided to speak out and come forward. Um, I'm hoping that she got a uh, domestic from abuse against him. Um, sometimes I read a story not too long ago um, about a lady who actually had an order and God killed her after that. Um, so honestly, I think that a woman like this needs to be put in um, maybe like a program um, put away somewhere you know I met a couple this summer that actually they um had a lot of land and um the woman said that that was one of her dreams I want to do kids I want to take kids in but she wanted to take in women battered women and their children <clears throat> excuse me as well as pets and that touched my heart I don't know if she still follows me on here but um, that just made me feel so good in my heart about this woman and her family. But, um, all we could do is pray for women like this. And I just hope that something good comes out of her situation at the end. But thank you, young lady, for speaking out because we need more people out here to do what you did, have the courage to do what you did, um, Again, you're a beautiful young lady, so I'm glad that before 
um, this man, and I hate to say it, killed you. You walked away or spoke out. So now, hopefully, people can give you help. Um, clearly, his family needs help, and they all need God. But um, that's that's all I really want to cover today. Um, until I see you guys again, you know, I love you all. Have a good day.